I decided to come out. I saw Kay, I think it's Kay Cardwell, his uh, his challenge to the hardwoodsman about uh, wet woods, um, finding dry tender in wet woods. So I decided to uh, come out today to uh, get that done. And uh, this is the area we're doing it in. About a quarter of a mile that way. We'll see what we can find. This don't look like too bad of an idea to add to a uh, tender bundle. As you can see, everything is soaked out here. Uh, the snow's all melting. It's about 35 degrees. The dog is going crazy. So I'm going to grab some of this and shove it in my pocket. Doing this kind of stuff on crutches without getting soaked is always <laughs> an issue. Yeah, here we go. We got her. But you can see just how wet everything in these woods are. That's not the creek, that's just puddles everywhere. All the snow is melting. That's what I've been looking for. This is a fallen basswood. It's pretty punky. Um, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. Um, that's dry. I'm just going to have to process that, knock off anything that's wet, and uh, I could also have punkwood out of the same tree. Punkwood is a great um, wet woods fuel. See how fibrous that is? It's just about the characteristics. It's not about what, what species, what anything. It's just characteristics is what you're looking for. Yeah, it's punky. I'm gonna add that to the uh, the pile. I might just go ahead and make the fire right here in this big old down basswood. One of the important parts about wet tender, or tender when it's wet outside, is the preparation. You just gotta keep preparing it, breaking it up. Go! That is 100% dry to the touch, even though it's so nasty outside, and I have no doubt that it would light. Fluffy, airy. I could uh, probably get that a bow drill coal to go in that. I just looked at my day pack and I did not bring a ferro rod. But I've got a big lighter, and I always have. I took my uh, I took my knife out of my day pack, and my knife has the ferro rod hooked to it. It's funny I don't have a ferro rod, but I have two pistols. I must be American. God bless the USA. Lights right up. more than enough. Then I've always got punk wood to add. More basswood bark. These woods are full of them. Um, I don't have time to make a fire today. Or I would. I've only got time to come out here and play for a little bit. Take dog for a walk. She needs her exercise too. So, um, Basswood bark actually burns for a pretty decently long time. And then that grass is just a, a flash tender, of course. But I saw the, the challenge posted up for the hard woodsmans, and I wanted to come out while the woods were still soaking wet. And uh, um, go ahead and get it done. Thanks for watching.